Look at all these cute baskets I just found. What is it with these porn people that post comments on my photo? Every time I post a photo, they're like the first three or four comments on there. And they use like the eggplant emoji. <laughs> it's sad and sick and not funny. I don't even know why I'm laughing. I just, it's so aggravating. Like Instagram can't do something about this. Obviously they have hacked into the algorithm and they know how to be the first comment on your post. It used to be the spammy people that would be like, Oh, I made a million dollars in five minutes. Come check out my account. And now it's nudie people. <laughs> Help. Anyways, I took Chester to the neurologist this morning and he was so sweet and a very knowledgeable neurologist. If you need a neurologist in town, I can't remember his name right now, but I'll look it up and put it on the screen here um, for your dog. <laughs> He said that he thought Chester probably has some sort of neurological thing going on because he sees a little bit of droopy on his left side and his Chester's weird breathing and just all the things. And he said, we've already tested for everything else. So he said, if we hadn't done the slow test that we had, he could be like, oh, well, maybe you should go test for this. But he said, we basically ruled everything. We could definitely do a brain scan. It would either show, not show anything he said, which he would be surprised because of the way Chester's acting, but most likely, even if it does show something, he said we're probably not going to be able to do much about it. So it's kind of like to rule that out for peace of mind. He said he doesn't feel like Chester's in any kind of distress or pain, even with his breathing like that. It's probably something neurological. So we're going to keep an eye on him for now. We're going to take him back to the eye doctor because he said he does think he has a little bit of his vision because he kind of has a little bit of tracking but he has lost a lot I mean he seems blind when he's here he's like banging into that's the update on Chester we're just trying to do what's best for Chester and also what's best for our family I I know he's 10 and we don't have a million dollars to spend on surgeries and trying to keep our dog alive for the inevitable. We know he's probably gonna pass away before we do, unless God has a different plan for our lives. And so we're just trying to figure out what's the right way to, the right route to take. And we wanna make sure he's not in pain and he's comfortable and all. I ended up putting my records in this box, old box, by this thing that my record player is on over there. And it works perfect. And all of them fit. My lamp broke. Well, not broke, but this part doesn't work on it anymore. It just spins. It doesn't click on and off. So I just got one of these light bulbs. You can turn on like that. And I'm going to use this instead. You can recharge these in another lamp, like another lamp that's plugged in, you recharge it. I think it lasts for, I can't remember how many hours, like eight. And then I'll just clip this off.